What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Oh my god, look at the Bitcoin price. We are seeing a pretty nice pump right now of about 7 to 8%. Yes, we did have a dump yesterday of around about 6 to 7%, but we are seeing a recovery potentially and we could be testing this 7k mark. Today's video we are going to be talking about the Bitcoin price. Of course, we're going to be talking about where it's going to be going and doing a bit of price analysis. We are also talking about the Bitcoin hash rate going back to all time high levels and what that could mean for the Bitcoin price. We are then going to go on to talk about how Bitcoin is likely on the verge of a full blown bull run and when that could be coming. We're also then going to be going on to talk about basically how cash is becoming worthless, fear is becoming worthless and the just ridiculous amount of money in circulation and how it has doubled since the last financial crisis. All that good stuff is coming up in today's video. I cannot wait for, to share it with you guys. So as always guys, sit back, relax and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me again today. I cannot wait to bring you this video. Last video, we actually hit 1,000 likes, which is absolutely crazy. Thank you so much, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. It takes two seconds, and it really helps out the channel. So if you haven't already, drop that like. Also, you know the drill by now. Subscribe and tick that notification bell, and leave your comments down below if you want to be entered to win that Tracer storage device. It takes two seconds, and you can win something for free. So, guys, let's first of all dive into the bitcoin price we can see that we did actually have a fairly significant uh, drop in price of around about six to seven percent over the past few hours or yesterday and um, that was most likely due to the news that came out yesterday about the usdt and stable coins potentially being banned yesterday's video i said that might be bullish but i did not mean short term i meant long term um, so the price didn't react probably well to that article uh, and that news coming out um, that potentially could be what was happening. Um, also, now we are seeing a nice bounce. We came down to this level. Yesterday's video, I said if we don't test that 7K again, we will be coming down to this um, 6.5, 6.7, then 6.5K range. We came down to 6.7. We hovered along it, tried to gain some support there. Unfortunately, that was broken by this massive red candlestick. And then we came down and tested $65, $6,400, which to be honest was to be expected if we did break down there. Then then we bounced back immediately um, back up to 6600 and tested this $6,700 level again, breaking it straight through it. And now on the four hour chart, even if we go on to the um, 30 minute chart, we can see the explosive growth that Bitcoin has had even on one 30 minute candlestick going up around four to five percent on one candlestick. Now we pretty much potentially topped out uh, about 6980 uh, again not quite hitting that 7k mark which is unfortunate however as you're watching this video uh, that could change and in a few hours time we could go ahead and test this mark if we do go ahead and test that um 7k mark i really really want us to go up to uh test new highs and break that 7200 mark if we can break that 7200 mark guys and see a close above it if we can break this level here uh, come up and potentially see a close and find some support on the 7200 dollar mark i really really think that we could be on for a more bullish time as i said maybe four or five videos ago i'm not staying bullish uh quite just yet until we do in fact cross this $7,200 mark. I think that's a fairly important level for Bitcoin. Um, as we can see, we tested it once, nearly twice, three times, tested it, held support, got rejected, tested it again. I think the $7,200 mark is a very important level and I would be very, very excited guys if we did in fact break it. I know for a fact I will be watching the Bitcoin charts mostly um, a lot of the day because it really excites me and if you are too, let me know down below in the comments. So that's the Bitcoin price. We did have a fairly nice little pump here. Um, if we go ahead and take a look at the volume. Okay, so the volume is not terrible we are still having uh, somewhat a somewhat of low volume if we go onto the daily chart and take a look at this yeah we can still see the volume is still 
going downwards. I really would love to see a big volume spike here and maybe a pump up to this 7.9k level. If I'm really being optimistic and, I, and I'm hopeful for Bitcoin, that would be great if we saw a pump to that 7.9k level and a massive spike in volume to break this downward trend. That would be really, really bullish for the Bitcoin price. However, that most likely isn't going to happen immediately. Um, of course, it could, but it most likely won't. If we go ahead and take a look at that um, 20 and 50 day moving average, they are getting ever so closer again. And that could be why we actually stopped at about the levels where we stopped. Uh, just around 7k is this 50 day moving average which is coming down and providing resistance for Bitcoin. So we could actually be stopping there on that 50 day. We could come down to this level of about 6800 and bounce on this um, 20 day moving average. That would be more than possible. But it will be very interesting to see in the next few days actually where the Bitcoin price does go. And if we stay in this level between the 20 and 50 day moving average or we break out of it and test this $7,200 level. If we do test this $7,200 level, guys. I do think we could come back down and hit this 7K or hit this 50 day moving average level of support. Um, so, yeah, that's very, very interesting, guys. Um, guys, before we do get any further, there is literally seven hours left, or maybe even less, maybe a couple hours left on the Bitcoin Blueprint 2.0. If you did want to learn an A to Z guide on how you can trade profitably with cryptocurrency, then it will be linked down below. On April the 25th, there is actually 10 actually no, 15 to 20 new videos on exact trading tactics that you can use today to become a more profitable trader. If you jump in at this price, actually you'll be getting those videos for free. When that release does come, the price of the course will be increasing. I'm just letting you guys know that as a little heads up. So that is the Bitcoin price. Um, again, I really would like us to see um, to see us break this 7k level. I don't think it will happen. I mean, it, it, it really would be awesome. It looks like we could have, um, of course, this, I'm on the four hour chart now, so these are not valid. Um, of course, I think we did kind of meet resistance at that 50 day moving average, but it will be very exciting to see where it will go. Moving on to the first article of the day, guys. Bitcoin hash rate back to all-time high levels, which is crazy. The total hash rate of Bitcoin mining has jumped to 120 levels achieved as it touched new highs in early 2020. Hence, not only Bitcoin, the price, but also the hash rate is witnessing a V-shaped recovery, which is really, really nice to see. We can see like so, and we were just testing uh, all-time highs. Currently, the difficulty range uh, and the hash rate as uh, are at par with the levels in January of this year. However, the trading price is lower compared to that range, $7,500 to $9,000 back then. The price of Bitcoin um, is currently at $66,500. Uh, However, this article was written before we had a very nice pump in the price. It goes on to say, normally hash rate follows the price um, as a primary incentive for mining is profit from selling Bitcoin above the cost of generation. However, minor capitulations um, I can never pronounce that word right, which follow extreme price drops, have had a bearish effect in the market. Um, in the past, halvings have been a bearish event for Bitcoin short term due to minor capitulation at the, as the prof profitability has reduced by 50%. It goes on to say the break even cost for the new gen uh, S70 miners is around 54 to $6,000 post halving. Hence, if the price begins to break below these levels, we are likely to witness, witness larger capitulation after the halving, um, which is a really, really interesting uh, article. I did then want to segue that into the second article, Bitcoin likely on the verge of a full blown bull run. Leave your comments down below, guys. That will enter you to win that Tracer storage device. Do you think we are on the verge of a bull run with the halving coming up with the whole economic crisis going on, the Fed printing money like it's going out of fashion. Um, do you think we are on um, on the edge of a massive bull run for Bitcoin? Let me know down below, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So Glassnode, a leading cryptocurrency data firm, suggests that uh, per one of its um, proprietary indicators, again, I cannot pronounce that, and um, that accurately timed Bitcoin's market tops, a full-blown bullish trend reversal may soon be confirmed. Um, one of its on-chain indicators, the short-term holder net unrealized profit and loss, um, STHNUPL, quite easy to roll off the tongue, is indicating that BTC remaining in a bear trend with short-term holders found to be in capitulation. 
Um, the firm indicated that once the indicator enters the stage of hope, which will mean the short-term Bitcoin investors will be in profit, it will likely to be confirmed that BTC has a bullish trend reversal and will enter back into a cycle of growth opposed to weakness. And we can go over to their Twitter and see this here. We can see we are above the red line, which is a good thing, and we have the peaks here. However, we are still remaining fairly good according to this chart, and we are in kind of the, or we passed the optimism range right now, uh, and it's looking fairly good. Um, if we did want to see that chart, just go over to Glassnode on Twitter. Short-term holder NUPL has been extremely accurate in timing Bitcoin market tops, the green zones on the chart. Um, also consistently staying above the red uh, zone has indicated BTC bull markets, which we can see uh, the red zone like so. Um, the current upwards trend needs to be confirmed for a bullish trend reversal. Um, Glassnode's indicators do not suggest that a bull market has started. Prominent anal analysts are certain that the phase of the market cycle is very, very near. Um, CEO of Galaxy Digital, a former Goldman Sachs partner, remarked that he remains long on gold and long on Bitcoin, citing two fundamental trends. Stimulus by central banks and governments, we all know that is happening, and institutional in adoption. Again, in yesterday's video, I said that we don't necessarily need institutional money coming into Bitcoin to pump it up to those previous all-time highs of 20K. We already have billions of dollars sitting on exchanges, and that could very well happen at any time, uh, which would be absolutely excellent. This is the year of Bitcoin, and if it doesn't go up by now, um, doesn't go up by the end of the year, sorry, I might just hang my spurs. So with everything going on, I really think Bitcoin is going to shoot up to the moon anytime in the next few months, at least going back and test those 10k levels way up here, at least guys. Um, of course, I did want to remind you about that Bitcoin blueprint sale, which is going on. It will be linked down below in the description. $100 off, don't miss out guys. Money is losing its value. We all know this guys, the amount of money in circulation has more than doubled since before the financial crisis in 2008, 2009. Um, we can see here the M2 figures for 12 major economies. Back here, we were around 40 trillion. Now we are above 80 trillion, which is absolutely crazy. Doing whatever it takes to save the global economy from the coronavirus pandemic is going to cost a lot of money. The US government alone is spending a few trillion dollars and the Fed Reserve is creating another few trillion dollars to keep the financial system um, from collapsing. Um, basically goes over to here how it's doubled and it's over 80 trillion now, which I just said. These numbers are so large that they no longer have any meaning, which is very true. It's a government's responsibility to maintain the value of currency they issue. And when they fail to do so, that is something that undermines an essential trust in a government. Do you guys agree with that? When a government fails to maintain the value of its currency, does that country lose the trust of its government? Well, I think if we look at some countries that have had mass hyperinflation, um, I would definitely agree with that point. The dollar has no real intrinsic value, backed only by the full faith and credit of the US government. Under a fiat currency system, the government says that the dollar is a dollar. Its value relative to things such as other currencies and gold determined on is determined on global markets. The three main functions of a currency as a unit of account, a medium of exchange, and a store of value. The last thing we it is not doing so well right now. Um, and if there's too many more dollars in circulation, uh, the monetarists would say that the value of the do those dollars has diminished, eventually leading to higher prices for things. So a really, really interesting article how it's pretty much doubled since the last financial crisis. What is going to happen in the next 10 to 20 years with this? I definitely see us going over 100 trillion. That is, without a shadow of a doubt, that is going to happen. So guys, taking another look at the Bitcoin price, going back onto the hourly chart, um, we can see that we are actually having somewhat of a, not a downtrend, but we are definitely um, holding back from pumping up to that 7K level. If we take a look at the 30 minute chart, we could see a little bit more action here. Okay, so we do look like we potentially could have stopped going higher as of now. However, this could turn around and we could go, um, we could have a little bit of consolidation here and then come back and test this 7K level, which would be really, really nice. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Let me know your thoughts and your comments down below in the comment section. That will enter you to win that Tracer storage device. 
Also, don't forget to check out the Bitcoin Blueprint 2.0 when the sale is nearly finishing. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow.